So, hi guys. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make a GoPro pole mount in a bit like this. So as you see, you've got your bolt, which goes through the GoPro mount, and an old broom, which you've got your handle. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the GoPro sort of mount here, which then fits onto the end of the pole. So, this is just, if I undo this here, this is just the old GoPro packaging which it comes in. So, it came as a square bit of plastic with this mount on here. So all I did is I got a bandsaw and I cut out the outside so all the area except from a straight bit at the back which I later then drilled a hole for it the, drill. the perfect size to fit a bolt through which I could then later bolt onto the back of my pole so yeah that's what you're going to do there so now let's get on to making the actual pole Okay, now let's start to actually make the actual pole. So, what I've done is this was an old broom, or well, um, mop, and it's made out of metal. It's got this nice handle here, which is good for holding it. And it was perfect, and I saw it, and I thought, ah, oh, that'll be perfect for making something out of. So, all I did is I got a hammer, and I flattened out the end here, as flat as I could. So, yeah. And then I drilled a hole the same with the same bit as I drilled the hole on the mount here so that I can fit a bolt through both of them. And then, yeah. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's how you make the broom. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put them both together. Okay, so now we're going to put both of the bits together. So, we made the broom handle here. And we've made the GoPro mounty bit here out of the old GoPro packaging. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the the packaging bit and the pole and line them up as best as you can and then just put a bolt through like that. Then you're gonna get the end of a bolt and screw it on like that. Screw it on as tight as you can. You might want to tighten that with some sort of tightener, but I'll do that later. So, once you've done that, finished, now you just need to put your GoPro on. 